。大家好，是你们最喜欢的辅导老师贝欧刘贝老师，我们回来了。这是第二十课的第一部视频，我们的课是在机场。We're at the 机场 this time. You guys are at the airport. 这是最后一课。This is the last 课。So. Missing Kula, y'all made it a long ways, and as you can see, the senioritis is debilitating. I'm ready to go, but I just had to post this for y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and get out. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Bro, you can't see it, but let's get into it. 好，今天我们来做什么呢？第一个是 comparing the the and the crucial for the Chinese language learning, and 第二个是 ba with directional complements. Basically, a review. We're just gonna zoom through and be done with. Okay, so let's just get right into it. We have the, which sometimes is called by shao the, by shao the. Yo, this is the first the that you learn. There's nothing really difficult about it. We have ge ge de gong si, so usually a noun. The gong si, so the usually follows an attributive. But not an adverbial. So, the attributive can be formed by an adjective, a noun, or by a verbal phrase as well. So, noun here. Gaga, the 公司 Whose 公司 Whose company? Gaga's. 老师的先生 Um, whose husband? The husband of 老师 And 第三个卖完的机票 Uh, goodness, not 机票门票门票 The door tickets. Therefore, like. Entry tickets to a concert, etc. 门票卖完 As we see, this is a verbal phrase. The oh lord, the tickets that have been sold out. And here we see that um, what do you call that? A compliment, a certain kind of compliment. It shows a completion, resultative compliment. There we go. 卖完 Okay, and let's look at the good news. 第一个南京的热是有名的 ，so 南京的热 by itself. You see that we can use it、um, with both nouns and with adjectives. So in most cases, the is followed by a noun, as seen in all those top three. But it can also precede an adjective or a verb if that adjective or verb serves as the subject or object in the sentence. So we wouldn't use this the if it was a verb. That acts as a verb, but rather, if it's sort of a noun type idea. Again, digging into that's like um reinforcing the whole. Don't take these parts of speech like as as taken directly from English because it's just so much more flexible. Um, so Nanjing the heat, the heat of Nanjing, is well known. It's well known. So this becomes an a noun sort of. In a way, because it's the subject. And then, the other, 他的词，大家最近才听说，他的词 ，so 他的词 his death, thereby being the subject of the sentence. Or if we flipped it, hmm, no, this is the object. Yeah, object of the sentence. Because who's the subject? 大家，大家最近。才听说他的事。Everybody just recently, 才 you know they just recently 听说 heard of his death. Okay, the other one. Let's get into the. Ah,、uh, so、this is sometimes called 双人的双人的 because why we have you know we have written. That's one, and then 人字旁 the、uh, character, uh, 字旁 radical. This is 单人 which is one person. But then you got 双人 two, because that's two people. So this is sometimes called 双人的 For clarification, if you ever are in that situation. All right, now the um, what I say 双人的 Is、um, used after a verb or an adjective to connect it with a descriptive complement or a complement of degree. So it's basically showing how the thing was done. Both of these do that. 
but this shows how the thing was done with the thing that was done being first and then the description of that coming after it so chang de hen da sheng chang is a verb so saying saying how saying hen da sheng, very big sound very loudly chang de hen da sheng the other war de hen kai xin playing playing or hanging out that's the action. War de zemayang. War de hen kai xin. Had hung out very funly. You can't really say that in you know English, but very happily hang out, hung out very happily. You know what I'm trying to say. Di san ge mai de hen hao mai to sell. In this case, like sold, because an object can sell. We, we do the same thing in English. It's not that hard to think of. But we say that a thing my the hen hao. Uh, the thing sells. Sells how? Sells very well. Kuai mai wan na. It's going to be sold out soon. Mai wan. Okay. Now, liang ge juzi. Wo de nan you zuo cai zuo de hen hao. And it's true. And it's true. Flex. Wo de nan you zuo cai. That's his own idea, right? The subject. So Thai. Makes food. Makes food. Now remember back in the day, we were looking at um how something is done. Y'all have already been over this. We can't say Zuo Thai Da Hun Hao. Because the object is kind of like in the way. It's like move out the way. We're talking about the verbs. Zuo the Hun Hao. So Zuo the Hun Hao. My boyfriend makes food very well. Or cook. Okay. Now the arga. Yi bian kai che, yi bian fa duan xi. Wei xian de bu de liao. Wei xian de bu de liao. So we looked at bu de liao the other day. And it just helps to just see that as its own sort of set phrase. And not really think too much about it for now. Um, so this is just a descriptive phrase of the whole verb which is what like the the subject the subject is yi bian kai che yi bian fa dan xin while to on one hand be driving a vehicle on the other hand be texting sending text wei xian so wei xian it is dangerous de wu de liao so, after verb or an adjective, that's what we want to bring up here. So, what's high? Verb. Wei xian. Dangerous. And dangerous to what degree? Dangerous how, basically. So, how dangerous? Wei xian de bu de liao. Hopefully, that makes some sense. Now, zui hou yi ge de. And sometimes people would just say di to um, like distinguish this from the other ones because. D, if you know D Fang, um, D Da, all of these is the same thing. It's the same character, but when we're using it as this grammatical particle, it is D. So sometimes they say Tu Ye D, Tu Ye D, because what is Tu? The Zi Pang. Let's take a look. Tu. So Tu then turns into that what we have right there and then yeah right there so if you're in a speaking conversation there's no paper around you'll be like oh now i got the now i got the which the oh two year though so two year though what what about it let's get into it so two year though links an adverb or an adverbial to the following verb so an adjective an adverb or a set phrase can serve as an adverbial if it's followed by the duh. So all those things can become an adverb. Like we said in Chinese, everything just you add some particles and it changes function. So think of it as the li in English. Let me write that on here. Li. So man man de shi. Slow slow li eat. Man man de shi. And sometimes it's omitted overall, like 慢慢吃, slow, slow, eat, but it becomes adverbial. 
，慢慢的吃。第二个，很高兴的说 ，so here as opposed to back here. Verb is here. How is done is here. Here. How is done is here. Verb is here. 很高兴的说，卖完的机票。哦 ，same one. Ah, don't look at that. You'll get the idea, though. Okay. 那两个句子。第一个，你要努力的学习。你要努力的学习。How should you study? Studiously. <laughs> 努力怎么翻译呢？努力。Um, you should hardly study. Mm -mm. You should use your energy and study. Yes. And then, 最后一个，昨天我弟弟紧张的告白了。告白 is what? 告白 is to profess your love, to tell white. I guess to just tell it all. 啊、uh, ，告白 ，he confess. 他紧张的 ，so he nervously 紧张的告白了。So let's look at a couple of these sentences and do a little bit of comparison. So, 他高兴的唱着歌走回宿舍，走回宿舍。So here we got a little mixture here of the types of、um, hmm, like adverbial phrases that you can have. So, 他高兴的 happily, we see that. And then, 唱着歌 even though in this translation here,、um, saying is presented as a verb, that's also describing how he's walking. He's walking while singing, singing we in a way like 唱着歌 as he's walking, as he's、um, walking. Yeah, he is singing, and he's happily singing. So 高兴的唱着歌 So it applies directly to the one right after it most times. 他高兴的唱着歌 So this whole thing, in a way, is just one idea. But they all describe how he's walking. 他高兴的唱着歌走回宿舍 And if we cut all of that out, what is the core of the sentence? 他走回宿舍 He goes home. But how? All of this, 高兴的唱着歌。Now this one, 他高兴的唱起歌来了，唱起歌来了。So he was happy, happy how, as we described one before, or happy to what extent? Happy that, well, not that. Let me not say it like that. But he's happy to the extent he 唱起歌来了 ，began to sing. 唱歌了，唱起歌来了。And remember this 起 just from the beginning of something. And when we have a verb object, then the verb object gets split apart, so that we can have verb 起 object 来。So 他高兴的唱起歌来了。So as we see,、uh, in number five up there, 高兴 is used to describe the manner of a sing. How did he sing? Happily, 高兴的 But in number six, we see 高兴 is the cause of the singing. He was so happy that he began to sing. All right, now let's do a little bit of practice. So speak to yourself and make these types of observations、um, in Chinese. I'll give you a second to think it through. Okay, 姐姐什么都做得好 So what is it all that she's doing? Let's use the any of the does, all of the does. Start making some connections. So, 姐姐看书看得很快，哪一个的？看得很快 ，or Say this is 学习，他学习的怎么样 
我他怎么怎么样，他怎么学习 ？How does he study？ 他很努力的学习，努力的学习。啊，姐姐，嗯，姐姐唱歌唱的怎么样？他唱歌唱的很好听，很好听，像鸟鸟一样 ，like the birds。然后他怎么唱？他怎么唱？他很高兴的唱，他很小声的唱，小声 ，quiet sound, quietly。那，嗯，他最喜欢的歌是什么？他最喜欢的歌是。Molly Hua, she loves Molly Hua. Okay, that's the song. Now, this one, we how? We do? Sorry, we do what? 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 他做饭做的怎么样？他做饭做的很好。那他最喜欢做的饭是什么？他最喜欢做的饭是嗯鸡肉块 （chicken nuggets）。鸡肉块。嗯，那他怎么？做饭 ，like how does it? How does she like to cook food? 唱着歌，高兴的做饭，站着做饭。嗯，呀，开心的做饭，快的做饭，慢慢的做饭都可以。那最后。他也很喜欢运动，他对运动很感兴趣。那他跑步跑得怎么样？他跑步跑得非常快，非常快。And、um, that's that's on her, cause they all do. 跑得很慢，可是我跳的还可以。All right, now the other 语法是 ba with directional complements. So this is a review. We've basically already done this、um, during the other directional complements video,、uh, but it could have been a lot to digest. So we can look at it again really quick. So first we'll look at it with the simple directional complements, just your verb lie, your verb chu, and then in the compound. So the simple, 请你把窗搬来，请你把窗搬来。So again, 把 take this bed 窗 and do what? 搬 move 来。So 请你把窗搬 is just kind of like a、uh, 搬 what? 搬来 bring it this way, move it over here. 那第二个，小王把冰茶拿去了。小王 took the iced tea and held it left, held it went to、so、took away the 冰茶 took away the iced tea. 小王把冰茶拿去了 He took it with him and went. Now this compound, we just add more, like two of them or something with lie or to. So. 你把书拿起来。你把书拿起来。Pick up the book. You pick up the book. And the other. 麻烦把你的书包拿上桌来。拿上桌来。So 麻烦 ，you are little. May I trouble? 麻烦你。Real nice versus 你 ，you're gonna do that. You're gonna do this. 麻烦你把你的书包。You take your book bag. 拿上桌来
So here we didn't have an object. So nachi lai. Just a verb, bam bam. Well here we got a verb on an object, something describing where to put it or what extra to do. So na shang zuo lai and not na zuo shang lai. Verb shang zuo lai. So uh, you can look back at the video um, before the video anterior, or however you say that, for more review on that, if that would be helpful to you. There are plenty more examples in the other ones. All right, we're almost near the end. So, fushi first. Or is it fushi? Oh, there's no fushi because. The last one was just for you to do a mental exercise and plan your dream vacation or Xing. So let's just get right into the Nianxi. So with the duh, 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 um, fill in the correct duh. So, 我最喜欢 blank, 颜色的红色,哪一个的? Which duh? 第二个,老师说,duh,太快了,我觉得。你听得懂。which does and for this ba plus directional complement so please find e isya i drove the car back to mom's house and then please bring me my wallet using ba wow that's it bye bye